I'm Carol Reynolds, and this is Wind Notes with Professor Carol. Two years ago, the Dallas Wind Symphony had a very special guest performer who introduced their concert season. I came here to the Great State Fair of Texas to interview him for my podcast series. And it was unlike any interview I've ever done. We're back again today to meet with Groucho the Parrot. And here he is. Let me introduce you, not only to Groucho the Parrot, but to his handler, Carrie Clements, who works with the Birds of the World show. And Groucho is a great star in that show. He is. He's been a star of the show for the last 10 to 12 years. Oh, that's a long run. That's right. Well, how did he come to be in the Birds of the World show and to be such a big star? That's such a great question. Um, he actually came from a woman named Teresa who raised him for the first about 10 years or so of his life. Uh, he and his sister Gracie, as a matter of fact, and uh, she just thought that he was so phenomenal and so special. She wanted more people to be able to experience him and uh, see how talented, talented he is. So she, uh, she found Steve Martin here, the president of Natural Encounters, our company, and he started the bird show here at the State Fair, and uh, he's been a star ever since. So that implies he knew how to sing already? He did know how to sing already, yeah. All we had to do was get him comfortable doing it in front of people. Aha, uh -huh. and it yeah. seems he's rather comfortable with that. That's right. Uh, what kind of parrot is he? What? Tell us about it. Yeah, he's a yellow, he's called yellow naked Amazon parrot. It's a, Amazon parrots are found mostly in, mostly in Central and South America. Mm -hmm. He's about in his mid-twenties. He's about 25, 26 Ooh. years old now. Is that old? Uh, mid, Middle-aged, actually. A parrot his size could probably live to be over 50. So, yeah. And you work exclusively with him, or me and several other trainers. He's limited, limited handlers. He's uh, very particular, like some people, definitely more than others. That's others. That's very uh, typical for parrots. Actually, one of the things that makes them very challenging pets. They mate for life in the wild, so in our homes, they do that as well. So, all right. Yeah. Well, now he participates in the show as a. Well, you tell us. Vocalist, is that fair to say? Sure, I think that's a nice thing to call it, a vocalist. That's right. Hey, Groucho. Hello. Honey, can you tell everyone hello? Hello. Very nice, that a boy. Now, he's known for his singing ability. You want to see if he'll sing a song? I, d I certainly don't know how to trigger that, but I bet you do. All right, let's give it a try. What do you think, Groucho? Hello. You want to sing? Did you tell him to sing that song? I didn't tell him to sing that song, just to sing a song. So it turns out that Groucho knows seven different songs from beginning to end, and it's his choice. We never know what he's going to sing. Wow. Does he sing the same song twice, or he just... You nope, know? he does have it. He has information. If he sings the same, starts a second song, the same song as the second, I can start him over, and he'll pick another one. I'll be yeah. done on. Hey, oh. that's my shirt. Hey. <laughs> I know. We're not paying enough attention to you, are we? Can you give everybody a kiss? Good stuff. That's right. Good boy. What are you feeding him? Uh, his favorite treats are peanuts and sunflower seeds. He also gets a very special pelleted diet made just for parrots with all the vitamins and minerals and things that they need and lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. All right. When he sings, which it sounds as if he was about, about to do, to right oh, well, we don't want to stop that. You want to sing another song, Groucho? Come on over here. You ready? Here you, go. you did that one already. Oh, what happened? Which one is it going to be? You can pick. That is good stuff, isn't it? How about another song? That was a good start. You are a silly goose. That's he, right. What did he just say? <laughs> what a silly goose you are. Uh, so, well, he may just not be ready. He's That's got a big right. day in front of him. He That's will do right. how many shows today? Uh, two to three shows today out of our four. That's right. And in each of these, he comes out and sings. He and sings two songs. Yep. And then goes back and yep. takes a break. Takes a little break, gets some snacks, things like that, like the true diva that he is. Well, I've seen him at the Meyerson Symphony Center in front of a concert symphony opening a season, and he was in front hey, of all Groucho, kinds of honey. people. Uh, he seemed very comfortable, almost as comfortable as he does now. Oh, 
it may be time to close off this interview. It's been great to be here at the State Fair of Texas to meet once again with Groucho the Parrot and his handler and trainer, Kerry Clements. I'm Carol Reynolds, and you'll find more of my programs on music, arts, and culture at my website, professorcarol.com. And our thanks to the Dallas Wind Symphony, dws.org, for bringing us all here together. See you at the concert.